Our continued coverage of the shooting at Lakewood Church. Investigators say Genesee Moreno entered the church with her seven-year-old son and opened fire. After a shootout with off-duty officers, Moreno was killed. Her son rushed to the hospital in critical condition. This afternoon, we are getting a clearer picture of Moreno's past. Good afternoon. I'm Sherman Min Chow, KHOU, speaking exclusively with her former mother-in-law. Victor Jacobo is live outside of Lakewood Church nearly 48 hours after the Sunday afternoon shooting. So, Victor, what more do we know now? Yeah, sure, man. Thanks to court documents that we've uncovered and speaking exclusively with Moreno's former mother-in-law, we're able to put into focus Moreno's troubled past, which includes a criminal record, a custody battle over her child, and mental illness. She was a beautiful and fine young lady before, and then she stopped taking medication. And we asked for interventions for her many, many times. She was hospitalized many times. She was violent many times. Rabbi Wally Carranza says Genesee Moreno displayed signs of instability and violence for years against Moreno's husband and son. There were red flags for six years and we raised them and we flew them high and nothing was done. Carranza, Moreno's former mother-in-law, spoke exclusively with KHOU and says she is not sure of the exact motive for the shooting at Lakewood. Carranza believes multiple factors impacting Moreno's life, including a history of mental illness and an ongoing custody battle over her son, likely played roles in the shooting. Now, this grandmother is focused on her grandson, who she says was born prematurely and now battling to live once again after being shot in the head during Sunday's shootout. He's fought through so much to get to where he is today. Now he has to fight for his life again. And that's, that's simply not fair. Now, as of last check, Moreno's son remains in the hospital under intensive care. Carranza also telling us that she's not sure what the last days and weeks look like for Moreno and her son. That is something police are also working to get a clearer picture on in their investigation. We're now reporting live outside Lakewood Church, Victor Hakobo, KHOU 11.